this video, we are going to be installing DVWA on our Kelly Linux using Docker. First, let's understand what DVWA is. DVWA is a vulnerable web application. Think of it as just like your home hacking lab, your personal playground where you can learn and test out different types of web attacks legally. Now, why are we using Docker to install DVWA? In the past, I have already made a video on how to install DVWA on Kelly Linux, but the process was extremely complicated and due to database misconfiguration and other compatibility related issues, many of you were getting errors and could not start DVWA. So that could be the reason why we are using Docker to install DVWA because DVWA will be in a containerized application, meaning that we do not have to do any of the configuration ourselves. We can just copy and paste two simple commands and we can start using DVWA. So without further ado, let's get started with the installation process. First, we're gonna open up our terminal and make sure Docker is installed in our system with the command Docker space dash dash version i can see docker is not installed in my system if you have docker installed please skip this part of the video so in order to install docker the first thing we're gonna do is update our local package repository with the command sudo apt update and then press enter type in your password for the user after our local package has been updated install docker with the command sudo apt install docker dot io and then press enter do you want to continue press capital y and then press enter after Docker has been installed in our system, enable the Docker service with the command sudo systemctl enable docker space dash dash now and then press enter. Check the status of the service with the command sudo systemctl status docker. I can confirm that my service is now active and running. Finally, type the command sudo space user mod space dash a capital G space docker space the dollar sign user and then press enter we are doing this so that we do not have to type the command sudo before every command next make the change take place immediately log out from your machine and log back in again and now if i type the command docker space dash dash version i can confirm docker has been installed successfully now that our installation of docker has been completed let's pull and run the image of dvwa so first open up your browser and go to google.com and then type dvwa space docker and then press enter click on the first link and when you're on this page the first thing that you're gonna do is pull the image with this docker pull command so copy this and go back to your terminal and paste and then press enter and after the image has been pulled successfully go back to the web page again and then scroll down and here you can see how to run docker so copy this command and go back to your terminal again and paste the command and then press enter and now i can see that my docker has been started successfully I'll open up my browser once again and go to localhost and then press enter. Here type the username as admin and the password as password only. Press enter. Scroll to the bottom of the page and then click on create forward slash reset database and then type the username admin and password again and then press enter. And now I can confirm that my DVWA has started perfectly. These are all the web attacks you can perform. So that is for the end of the video. This is one of the easiest and the fastest way to set up DVWA in Kali Linux. Thank you so much for watching.